Alright, I'm trying to reset the droop on my eyelets here because I'm going to run this inner hole this Tuesday on practice. I want to play around with that a little bit. I want to try to get kind of a ballast weight feel out of the car without actually putting any weight in it. I got about 25 grams in there right now, but I just wanted to, while I, was, while I had the springs off and everything, I wanted to show you how to check your springs. Or I mean your uh, shocks. If you pull these up, you can just kind of check the speed and make sure they drop at the same rate of speed. If this one's got a real bad seal and this one don't, well then one's going to work slower or faster. But what you got to keep in mind for, if you want to get a good test is watch this. It's magic. Oh, that's mad. The anti-roll bar's on there. If this if this shock seal is bad, and this one's not, they're still tied together. I can actually stop one side or the other just by just by pulling one back. You can see this is the black anti-roll bar. That's about all the strength it's got to lift that shock. You don't usually notice that if you got springs on it, though. You don't realize just how much work that any roll bar is doing. So, I'm going to test those again, and I'm going to show you how to do it the right way so you can be sure that you, you got two good shocks or good seals and pack. You have to take this any roll bar off completely. It can't be half on, half off. You, you just can't do it. The CVDs get in the way. When you lift it, it's going to lift this side and you're going to grab onto your CVD. It just doesn't work. You have to actually take it completely off. So I'll show you after I take it off. Okay. I took it off. Black any roll bar. I like running this one because I want my uh, rear suspension work, work a a little more independent with the softer one. The stiffer one is make, keeps the car a little flatter in the turns. Really good on high bite. I like that black one on a little bit looser dirt. But this week I'm going to do some testing with this inner deal. And I was just going to check everything out, make sure everything's working good for Tuesday. But here we go. I'd say they're close enough. I'm not going to worry about them. This car ain't got a whole lot of time on it yet, so I bet them seals haven't gotten too worn out. And as you can see, I can move this one freely by itself. This one freely by itself. Or together. Now, let's say I hear some, some swishy sound from the air being in it. Nothing there. A little bit there. Without that any roll bar on there I can actually tell which shock is doing it. That one's good. This one right at the top. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not but this one's got a little air in it. Even though it's still dropping at a pretty good rate, so that's a good way to test your uh, shock seals. If your piston's dragging or your seals are too tight one to the other, that's a good way right there to to see how good your suspension's working, and it'll definitely jump a whole lot better if they're working at the same speed. So. Just wanted to kind of point that out while I was at it.